What's up guys, it's your boy the Olympix19 and today I have an idea that was given to me a couple times before by a particular somebody by the name of JD to make a mashup without any audio. So first thing I'm going to do, and I, this is an idea I've been wanting to do for a while, just put the audio all the way down. In case you guys still think I'm cheating in some sort of way, I'm going to put the in, in program volume all the way down as well in FL Studio. Right now it's 2.31 in the morning, so I'm going to give myself... 29 minutes to make a mashup and that's going to include having to download the songs and uh, putting it together i'm probably just going to make a time lapse out of this we're going to see what happens and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using the new song by pixel terror which is named contra so we're going to see what happens <laughs> Alright, so I gave myself half an hour, but honestly, I didn't really plan on this too much, at least when it comes to making it complicated. I only heard Pixel Tear once, and that was during my college class, when I shouldn't have been on the podcast. So, this could very well go, this could very well be good, or be a disaster, and I'm kind of leaning towards the possibility that it might be a disaster. I think it was E minor. I cannot remember so I just looked at my list of other E minor songs and I just kind of thought okay what's the safest thing to mash it with and I thought I think it's the Zeko and Taurus remix that's Big Room I don't remember for sure you really can't go wrong with a little Big Room mash I decided to put an EQ on the master just to dumb, dumb down the, the bass a little bit in case it was too much I put a limiter on both of them as I typically do honestly I have absolutely no idea what to expect, but I'm going to turn on the volume and just hope that just by s looking at these wavelengths that I got it right as to where the drops were. The second drop, Pixel Terror, was short, so I had to double it up and make it longer. And anyways, without further ado, let's bring up the volume and see what we got ourselves.
that actually came out a lot better than I expected. This was, I actually did not want to use this remix, but I think this, using this remix came out a lot better than the remix that I had in my head. I'm going to have to go back and try to figure out what song I was thinking of mashing it with. I'm glad to see that I got the key right, that it was E minor. I think if there was anything I would have changed, it would have been the fact that I would have EQ'd out the mids of bass line kicking so that the vocals of Contra could have been a bit more uh, up front and not really shoved to the back as much. But otherwise, I'm really happy with the way this mash came out. I'm probably not going to make a separate upload for this mashup, but, you know, I like it. I like it. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was thinking of doing multiple mashups, but I, I didn't really think i thought the video would end up being too long and i kind of just thought it's gonna just be me doing the exact same thing over and over again maybe another time like during a live stream i could do more stuff like this i feel like it'd be a lot more interesting for a live reaction rather than a pre-recorded thing and honestly it doesn't take that much i would say i would say that when it comes to at least mashups it's not as risk taking as it would be if I was producing a song as others have done it so I can't say that this video is the that amazing but honestly I'm glad to see that <laughs> I guess that I'm pretty good at sightseeing how a song is you start to recognize a lot of so things with songs you can see basically the build up you can see oftentimes there's something before the drop the drops mastering is always very consistent very thick the off portion over here, you notice that there's not as much. Again, over here, there's the bring down and then the build up. And then here, over here, of course, is the outro. With Zeko and Taurus, you'll notice that it's a bit harder to determine. At least over here, you can see, again, there's the off drop portion where it's like the, the, the calm before the storm. Here's the voc. I assume this to be the vocal chant right before... The drop this part tricked me out though I wasn't sure if the drop actually started here or if it started there but I can I thought that the kick this was the kick so whatever over here you can barely see it but if you zoom in you can see that like after the drop goes down over here again there's the buildup and then again the vocal chant over here I think yeah and then over here again it's similar to the beginning the beginning of this was very well mastered but it obviously the drop didn't start there so over here the moment that I saw that it w there weren't any like kick thick kicks or synths or whatever that were being overlaid and over here which is the regular kick outro kind of just assume that to be the end I think with the song choice it worked pretty well in the beginning over here the song I believe the terminology would be went into halftime so there was a lot less kicks in pixel terror but the four on the floor with baseline kicking kind of continued that onwards anyways so i mean it still worked i didn't think there was any clashing of the kicks and honestly i thought it came out pretty well i don't think there was any clashing of the melodies and yeah i can't really complain with how this came out anyways hope you guys enjoyed hope this wasn't too long of a video and yeah see you guys later bye